Hello folks, welcome to the Least Deals of the Month for February 2024. Uh, there are some stonking deals in this like crazy. Every month it seems at the moment the deals are getting better. We've got the lowest price ever on a Tesla Model Y. We've also got some cars in here with a bit of performance, got some cheap EVs. There's a little bit of something for everyone. As usual, we're starting off with the internal combustion engine cars and the second half of the video will be the electric cars. Please use the link to Least Loco if you're interested in any of these. It's how I support the channel. And please, if you're one of the 80% of people that watch these videos and don't subscribe, please subscribe, please give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment. Uh, pretty much all of these are three months up front, 10,000 miles a year, three year deals. However, there might be the odd one in there that's something different and I'll try and remember to point that out when we arrive at it. And folks, don't forget, if you wanna ask me loads and loads of questions, there's a button just there. It says book now on my website, notaguru.co.uk. It will cost you a few quid, but we have a one-to-one -one video call or we can do it over the phone if you prefer. And we can chat about everything and I can hopefully answer majority of your questions for you. So to start things off, we've got the Ford Puma, the one liter EcoBoost hybrid titanium, uh, 9.8 seconds to 62, fuel consumption of 52.3 MPG, 125 brake horsepower, insurance group 13 which is quite nice 456 litres of boot space let's have a look at the Puma there it is um, very very popular aren't they like incredibly popular average price on it's been 313 quid a month this time last year 388 in April 422 currently 244 with 734 up front that's a great value at the moment. 244 quid a month and at its highest point, 422. It's an average of 313. Does look like a good bit of value at the moment. As does this, the Suzuki Vitara 1.4 Booster Jet Hybrid SZT. This is the top spec version of the car. 0.62 and 9.5, 53 mpg. 118 mile an hour, 129 horsepower, insurance group 22 and 362 litres of boot space. This little Vitara, average price on it, 295 a month. At its peak, 334. Um, the lowest price we've seen on it is this one, £249.78. And the upfront payment is 749 quid. That's a fantastic value little car, the Vitara. Next, we've got the Peugeot 2008 1.2 PureTech 130 Allure. 252 quid a month and the upfront on that one is 756 not 62 and 9.7 47 mpg 122 mile an hour 131 brake horsepower insurance group 16 and 434 liters of boot space easy for me to say average price on it's been 341 this time last year 451 at its peak in July, 467. And as you can see, this is currently the lowest price we've seen this car available for. Uh, 756 is the upfront payment on it, and then 252 pounds a month. Nissan Qashqai, we know all about the Qashqai. This one's the 1.5 e-power version, which is a hybrid, but not a plug-in hybrid. 298 quid a month. Um, the upfront on it is 895. 504 litres of boot space, insurance group 24, 190 horsepower, 54 mpg and 7.9 seconds to 62. Price history wise, mm, it's good. It's not exceptional, but it's good. Average has been 325, currently 298. Peugeot 408 1.2 PureTech GT E88. We've seen this one around for a little while now, haven't we? This one is currently better value on a two-year deal with three months up front than it is on a three-year deal. Yes, even if you work out the difference with deposits and all the rest of it, it's better value like this. £301 a month with an upfront of 902 Now, this car's not as cheap as it was even last month. Uh, the price is starting to go back up, but I still think it's really great value. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in this video. Um, this time last year, it was 537 quid. And then we saw that massive drop just around Christmas time. Currently, at 900 quid up front and 300 pounds a month, that still looks like a really, really good value car. 10.4 seconds to 62, 41 mpg, 131 horsepower, insurance group 21, and 536 litres of boot space. And I think it's a good looking vehicle. That is a handsome car, an interesting interior. 
Um, not much not to like with that. I'm sure a few of you watching this may have had yours delivered by now. So let's know what you think in the comments. We've seen this one in, I don't know how many videos now, and I'm just going to tell you the numbers. It's 392 quid a month, and the upfront on it is 1167. This is the Across plug-in hybrid. It's a Toyota RAV4 with a Suzuki badge. Average has been 573, currently 392. Again, exceptional value deal at the moment. This was probably first in one of my videos in July or August. And uh, I don't know how long it's going to go on, but surely at some point it's going to start to go up in price again. Tremendous value, practical SUV, job done. Another car that's been in a few videos of late is the VRS Octavia. This one's the 2 litre diesel version, 7.4 seconds to 62, 200 brake horsepower, 152 mile an hour top end, 640 litres of boot space, 55 mpg. Um, and price history on this one this time last year 500 quid 523 in june and then it's slowly 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 come down currently 402 pounds a month uh, with 1200 up front and if that's not enough for you you could go for this 320 brake horsepower golf r it's obviously got four motion all-wheel drive dsg automatic gearbox 341 liters of boot space insurance group 31 4.7 seconds to 62 that's like EV, 0-62 times in a little Golf. Uh, and believe me, in a car of that size going at that pace, uh, you know you've got a shift on. 320 brake horsepower, 35.8 mpg. And in terms of it as a deal, it's just okay. But I often get berated in the comments for not showing performance cars in these videos and i really only show cars when they're on a good deal now a lot of these performance cars just don't fluctuate much in price they don't sell in massive numbers they're not expected to sell in massive numbers uh, however you know this is a decent price for one at the moment so we're looking at 492 quid a month with an upfront of 1478 now this one is perhaps a little bit spicier a deal um it's not quite as spicy a car though it's the alfa romeo giulia two liter turbo sprint i absolutely adore these cars with every inch of my body every inch 495 quid a month and uh, 1487 up front 5.7 seconds to 62 39 mpg 280 brake horsepower insurance group 32 and 480 litres of boot space. Let's look at it, shall we? Because that's what an Alpha is all about, really. I know you should say the driving and everything else, but I just think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous thing and so much better looking than a 3 Series or an Audi A4 or a C-Class. Uh, it's untrue. Brilliant to drive as well, I have to say. Like, really, really good to drive. This time last year, 865 quid a month. In August, 640 and then it dropped down to sort of end of October, start of November. Currently 495 with 1487 up front. The lowest price we've seen it in the last 12 months is 488. So you're six, seven quid a month more than that. Um, but don't forget the highest price we've seen it, 865 quid. Average on it's been 638. So at 495, if you're in the market for a bit of spicy Italian compact executive performance then this Julia might tick that box for you. Next, we've got the Lexus NX450 Plus 2.5 litre eCVT with the Premium Pack and Link Pro. 6.3 seconds to 62, 282 MPG nonsense, 306 brake horsepower, 38 is the insurance group and 525 litres of boot space. This one, of course, is a plug-in hybrid. Um, some people love them some people don't but this is one nice piece of kit the nx like seriously nice piece of kit this time last year 757 quid in july 821 dropped down to 641 in november we're currently at 586 with an upfront payment of 1758 i think that's a decent bit of value at the moment you don't often see the big lexus cars really dropping in price so i'd expect to see that probably to go up quite soon and i think if you're looking for a sensible executive style suv then look no further really okay on to the evs i'm going to whiz through some of these just because we've seen them so many times before but we're starting off with the funky cat um, I think we know all we need to know about the funky cat 258 quid a month that's down to now I mean, that's unbelievable value. 775 up front and 258 quid a month. 
I mean, last year that was four hundred and forty-six quid. This time last year, four hundred and forty-six quid a month. Average three hundred and forty-five a month. Bearing in mind it's been three hundred quid pretty much since June. Um, currently two fifty-eight. Fiat five hundred two hundred and sixty-nine quid a month. Uh, with eight hundred and seven up front. This is the one with the bigger battery. It's the top spec. You know, there's tons of value there for you if you just need a little city car, possibly a second car for the household. Believe me, you won't regret your decision with one of those because it's brilliant. And the Peugeot E2008. Now, this is a really good deal at the moment. 201 miles of range, 136 brake horsepower, insurance group 26 and 434 litres of boot space. 302 per month with 906 up front. This time last year, 449 quid a month. Uh, then in September, 769, 821 in November, went down to 378 in December, uh, then back up to 606. And it's now the cheapest price we've ever seen it. Look at this, right, folks. Average 518 at its peak, 821 pounds and at its lowest point, 302. I think it's fair to say that this is probably a little bit of a bargain at the moment and doesn't represent terrible value. Uh, it's in stock. £302 a month gets you in that Peugeot E2008. Don't forget with these in-stock cars, the deals go very quickly. So if by the time you're watching this, it's gone, I'm not pulling off some major conspiracy or something, the deal's just gone. But I would suggest you click through my link to Lease Loco and uh, just keep an eye on things because sometimes these deals sort of disappear for half a day and appear again. You never know if you're going to get cancellation come up or anything like that. Uh, and basically all the different brokers are all selling the same batch of cars. So broker A might say they're all sold out. Broker Z might have just had a cancellation on one. So you never really know. Always worth keeping your eyes open. Uh, Toyota BZ4X, 150 kilowatt. Again, we've seen this one a lot recently. 313 miles of range, 452 litres of boot space, 204 horsepower. Insurance Group 36, 428 a month and 1,284 up front. If you look at the price history, it's not as cheap as it was a couple of weeks ago. It's gone up by about seven quid, but certainly compared to this time last year when it was £872 a month, it looks like a hell of a bargain. Um, the highest price on it in the last 12 months, 906 quid. Lowest price, 421, currently 428. Still a great deal in stock again, so they will shift. So if you're in the market for a slightly crazy looking electric vehicle, then uh, don't delay and make your inquiry now. Hell of a price on this at the moment as well. It's the VW ID4, 150 kilowatt style edition, pro performance, 77 kilowatt hour, and 99 miles an hour is the top speed. Insurance groups 27, 543 liters of boot space, 322 miles of range, and 0 to 62 time is 8.5 seconds. Interesting looking vehicle, the ID4. Uh, I think the ID4 and the ID5 certainly more appealing on the eye than the uh, the id3 which everyone felt a little bit let down by i think when it was first released um you've still got the slidey hapticky things and not the most interesting interior in the world but at 400 quid a month it looks a lot better value than it did uh, at its full price this time last year 704 quid a month for that car when you read sometimes harsh reviews of some of these things they're reviewed at their price point, okay? And when the price is suddenly halved, it becomes a very different thing. Do you think a Dacia Sandero would get such a good review if it was the price of an Audi A8? No. 1166 is the upfront payment, £388 a month. Highest price in the last 12 months, 723 Currently, it's a quid more than its lowest price. So that can't be bad, can it? This is the style edition as well, so you've got plenty of spec. So a nice fully featured family electric car. 388 quid a month. Um, look at this, the Ionic 5 is one of my favourite electric cars. One of my favourite cars, forget the electric bit. SE Connect, this is the 58 kilowatt version. That one only gives you 238 miles of range. You need to go sort of up the spec if you want to boost that. Uh, 527 litres of boot space, a really nice, easy to use boot as well. Um, insurance Group 29, Nord 62 on this one is 8.5 seconds. Um, average price on it's been 522 quid at its peak it was 763 the lowest price we've seen it on is this one it's the lowest price we've seen it all year it's 395 pound 98 
uh, with 1187 up front. Um, I think it's a great piece of design. I know a lot of people hate these things, but just look at that. I think it's exceptional. And well done to Hyundai for having the cojones to release a car like that. I think it certainly paid off. Uh, the Aria is still knocking around 330 miles of range on this particular one, 472 quid a month and uh, 1,400 up front. Average on that's been 584 over the last 12 months at its peak, 739. So again, great value, really, really good car, like really good car, the Aria, and 472 quid a month is a fairly decent price. Uh, now look at this. People have been getting quite excited about this. The Tesla Model Y on the Tesla website, um, 3,391 3, pounds down, which is basically nine months, um, 24 month deal on 10,000 miles a year for 399 quid a month. So 3,400 will save the sake of argument as you're up front and then 399 quid a month. Uh, if you want to have a look at that and you're interested in getting one direct from Tesla, then I'm going to put my Tesla referral link in the video description as well. However, if you go to Lease Loco and go for essentially the same profile, 10,000 mile, two year deal, nine months up front, uh, you can pay 3,519 up front and 391 quid a month uh, so very very similar the important thing to note though is it's the lowest price we've ever seen the tesla model y if we go to our normal three year um three months up front deal you're looking at 492 a month with uh 1477 up front and just look at this the highest price we've seen it in the last 12 months 694 quid a month the average has been 571 even when we saw those sort of crazy dips in pricing before, we've never seen it go under 500 quid until literally a couple of weeks ago or a week ago even. Um, and 492, uh, I, I didn't think I'd see the day where it went under 500 quid. Now, when this deal first appeared, whatever it was, a week ago, 10 days, 14 days ago, um, I was advised that there are about a thousand of these in the UK sort of landed stock ready to go uh, for these amazing discounts. Obviously, all the brokers and Tesla themselves are, are essentially selling them. They will go quickly. I don't know how many of that thousand remain. It could be 500. It could be 50 of them. But I would say if you want to get on this, get on it now. I can't possibly see how it's going to get any cheaper unless one of the brokers does some kind of crazy loss leader thing for some reason. I never thought it would go under 500 quid it has i don't think it will drop more than maybe two quid a month difference to this uh obviously i can't predict the future but my advice would be if you want to go for one make your inquiry sooner rather than later please use my link when you make your inquiry and uh, it helps support the channel. Next, we've got the Skoda Enyaq 132 kilowatt 60 edition, uh, 247 miles of range, 179 horsepower, insurance group 25, and 585 litres of boot space. Highest price we've seen on that's been 720 quid a month. Average has been 572. When it's at 424, the average has been 572, and the highest has been 720. It sort of speaks for itself a little bit. A sort of middle of the range spec by the looks of it. 1273 is the upfront payment. Good looking car, the Enyaq. Very popular, very practical. Um, really not much bad to say about one of those at all. At 424 quid, it looks like good value at the moment. Then we've got the Mustang Mach-E at 525. Uh, the upfront on that's 1575. That's the standard range model, of course. 248 miles of range, insurance group 37. Uh, 269 brake horsepower average on that one's been 773 currently 525 it is more expensive than it was a week ago the lowest price we've seen is 501 so it's gone up like 24 quid but compared to the 1159 pounds it was back in march 525 seems like a bit of a steal and then we've got another lexus for you it's the rz 450e uh, 253 miles of range 313 brake horsepower insurance group 44 682 quid a month with an upfront of just over two grand this time last year 1036 pounds a month average has been 923 and we're currently at 682 a month 
Folks, thank you very, very much for watching this video. You may have noticed we don't have our usual sponsor on this video, and unfortunately we won't for a bit, and it's um, no doing of mine or theirs. There's a video coming out about it, actually, and it's one that I hope all of you watch because it shows the madness of our regulators in the UK. And uh, I'm going to pull no punches in that video, so keep your eyes open for it. It's coming in the next week, hopefully. Um, but sad times and tough times financially for me now because, you know, they're a big part of, of funding the channel for me. So so please use my link to Lease Loco. It really does help, especially at the moment, because this has made times extremely tough. Um, and uh, please support the channel in any way you can. Thumbs up really help. Like not enough people just click that thumbs up button. Comments help. Uh, sharing the video wherever you can helps anything like that subscribe if you haven't already done so really appreciate it really appreciate all the support and all the new subscribers i have had recently i've been doing this for a few years now and it's just the last couple of months have started to look a bit more positive this thing has come as a real blow i must admit but you know let's push on and plow through wow thanks for watching folks see you on the next one